We'll guide you through how to download and install Iris shaders. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you'll need to go and open up a web browser. I'll use Google Chrome, and then you'll need to go to a search engine like Google. And we need to go and search for Iris shaders. So we'll type it in Iris shaders, just like so. The official site is this one here, Iris shaders. So we'll go and click on it. And just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host, and they've got so many features like DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it, instant setup and so many other useful and awesome features. And at the moment you can get 50% off monthly plans. So I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comment if you're interested. But back to the video. So all you need to do is click on download now on the Iris website like this. And then you want to click on download the universal jar just like this. It won't take too long at all. And just before we go and close off our browser, then what we need to do is open up a new tab. Now, if you didn't know, Iris is basically a tool which allows you to go and run shader packs on Minecraft. So what you now need to do is go and get a shader pack. So the shaders I like to use are called BSL shaders. So we'll type that in now, BSL shaders, just like so. And they're on the CurseForge website. So go to CurseForge, scroll down and click on files. Scroll down and you can see all the files and I just like to get the most recent version. So then head over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file, just like so. And the download should automatically start and they've now gone and downloaded. So then what we can do is come off our browser and you need to go and open up the file explorer. In your file explorer, go and click on downloads like so, and then you need to locate the Iris installer and the BSL shaders you just downloaded. So I've now highlighted them and just dragged them onto your desktop because we're gonna go through it now. So double click on it like so, and what should happen is, is you go and get the Iris installer. Now, if you don't, for example, if a folder opens or you can't even open up in the first place, then this means you don't have Java installed. So what you'll need to do is go and open up your browser again, and then go to Java. So just go and search for Java or go straight to java.com. And here we are. You just need to click on download Java. The installer will download and just install it. It's just like installing any other application and then come back to the Iris installer and right click on it and then press open with and click on choose another app. And you need to locate Java TM platform SE binary. Then you can click on it and then you click on always and then it should go and launch. If that still isn't working for you, then you may need to go and perform something called a jar fix. And a jar fix basically reassociates running Java with jar files. And we've made a full video on that. So you can double click on it. And now we can go and select the game version. So I'll go and get 1.20.2, the most recent version, and then hit install. And it will then be added and it's now finished. So now you can close off the installer. And then what you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on the search and type in run like this and click on it. And type in percentage app data percentage, just like that and click OK. And it'll open up and then click on dot Minecraft and you need to locate shader packs. Now here mine is, if this isn't appearing for you, don't worry, all you need to do is right click and click on you and click on folder and you can then go and create a folder called shader packs. And then what you want to do is double click on it and you need to go and drag the shader pack you downloaded. So personally, I use the BSL shaders, so I'll just go and drag them in like so, and that's it. Now we can go and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the launcher, make sure Minecraft Java is selected on the left, and then to the left of play, make sure you select Iris and Sodium like this, and then go and click on play. You'll need to agree to this. It's just about safety. I've read it before. It's now loaded and I'll get into a world and go and show you the shaders. Now here we are in a world and to activate the shaders, pause the game by pressing escape, click on options and then click on video settings. And video settings do look a bit different in Iris, but it's fine. In the top right, we've got shader packs and you can then choose the pack. So I've got the BSL shaders here. So I'll go and click them like so, and then click on apply at the bottom. And it's then gonna go and load them. Just give it a moment. And just like that, we've now loaded them. And as you can see, that looks absolutely incredible. And if you want to go and turn them off, you just pause the game again, go to options, video settings, and then shaders. And you can turn them off by disabling shaders just by clicking there and pressing apply, and the game will be back to normal. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.